the innovation that's really going to be interesting to watch, uh, and then we've already seen, is in addition to the drones having communications capabilities, they also give a view from above. So you actually get a 3D dimensional idea of what's happening in an incident scene, and that's really important for a, a responder. It just changes the versatility that we as public safety have to be able to communicate. And communications is the number one most important thing that we need to manage any major incident. A neighboring fire chief uh, had a, a natural cover fire, a field fire, occurring in his, his area. The smoke in the area made it difficult to get a good size up. It would actually have jumped a road. And a neighbor launched a drone uh, over the scene. It got up over the top of the smoke. The incident commander could see exactly where the fire was going, immediately changed the direction of where the resources were uh, being sent to, to get to the head of the fire that they couldn't actually see uh, that well. And, and got around it uh, much quicker than we would have traditionally done where we just started going down the, the edge of the fire line until we found it. If you look at what FDNY is doing now, they actually put a drone up on every second alarm fire or greater to monitor the activity, to learn, look at uh, the heat signatures, uh, as well as being able to see where their people are, their apparatus are stationed, and just watch constantly and, and capture that all in videos. Here in Arizona in particular, we have uh, a lot of very, very large parks that people use all the time. And so it's at least um, every couple of days we'll end up having to do a rescue somewhere in one of the preserves. Um, the idea was that if we had a drone that we could use as an advanced scout to locate uh, the patient um, with visual, that we would have the ability to uh, assess the patient in advance be able to bring in the proper equipment. We've had a number of search and rescue situations that we've used drones on. Uh, and the ability to have that broadband connectivity from FirstNet with the prioritization will give us the assurance that that broadband network is in place. We're actually the first agency in all of Virginia to, um, to get a drone. To look for people, for example, Alzheimer's patients that, that uh, you know, maybe wander off, that have transponders on through uh, uh, Project Lifesaver, so we can, we can actually do a lot. You can imagine Philadelphia. Uh, Amtrak goes off, numbers of cars are off, lots of people are there, it's dark, it's night. Imagine putting a drone straight up above it with a thermal image camera or a FLIR and you're able to look on the ground and see so that you don't miss anybody. Now I can take that video from the drone, connect it to the broadband and be streaming live video to all those people that are decision makers, whether they're at the incident command or they're at the emergency operations center. Simultaneously, everything is going to change. Uh, when, when this door opens to FirstNet and we really have the network in place, uh, we can only imagine the things that will come next.